What's up guys, it's Spam for Breakfast back with another review. Today we are moving on from Spam and we are trying Great Value um, Original yeah, lunch and meat. Lunch and meat. Made with pork. Um, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, yeah. The ingredients are pork, salt, water, sugar, sodium phosphates, spices, unspecified, <laughs> sodium ethyrbate, and sodium nitrate, which is pretty similar to the ingredients in Original Spam, which contains pork with ham, salt, water, modified potato starch, sugar, and sodium nitrate. Um, I noticed right away just looking at this can, it's kind of cool. Um, they have oven instructions, microwave instructions, skillet instructions, and broil instructions, which is something Spam does not have on their can, oh. um, which is kind of nice. At first, I was thinking generic Spam is probably going to be pretty gross, but my hopes have arisen for this. Yeah, uh, I'm not, I'm not counting this one out. I expect it to be pretty much the same, but uh, I guess we'll see. It's only one way to find out. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it looks a little discolored. Um, I think that is just some of the gelatin, whatever yeah. that is that came in the can. It looks a little discolored, and it was pretty hard to get out of the can. Yeah, it it's, looks less solid than regular it Spam. It looks like there's less moisture. Less moisture, less solid. It looks a bit fattier, too. It's not as pink as traditional Spam. Um, but, well, yeah. But it I got it. It smells fine. It does smell fine. The appearance, not great. Um, let's see if we can get a top angle here. Um, yeah, it almost looks like pepperoni or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's, yeah that's. Well, let's uh, cut it up and see what happens. So I picked this up to put it in the tray here, and it has like a layer of fat on there, which, I mean, you can see some of it here. Oh, you can see some of it there, but I just still wasn't expecting it to be this slimy because the can looked to be relatively dry. So, yeah, we'll just let's slice this real quick. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> right, so here we got it frying up in the pan. Uh, we noticed, though, as we're trying to flip, we got really brown sections of this, really golden, perfect looking, crispy sections of this, but then we got parts that look like I haven't even touched by the pan or by the heat, and that's just not. That's just not accurate. So we'll see if that actually affects the uh, the final uh, pan fried outcome. So we still have it in the pan here. We just noticed there is a ridiculous amount of fat in the pan, and the whole time we were frying it, it was really sizzling and popping and splashing a lot of grease around. And uh, we've we've fried both sides pretty decently, but you'll find both sides look. <laughs> Look about the same. Looks like this band wants to stick to itself right now too. But they both look about the same. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to try this out. Right, so here it is out on the tray. Uh, this looks to be so greasy. You can see the shine on there. This looks to be so greasy. I actually put some paper towel down just out of curiosity to see how much grease it soaked up. I mean, yeah, quite a bit. This is really fatty. That looks to be the only difference so far. It looks actually, it looks to be a bit softer too. Mm -hmm. um, actually, quite a bit softer. You know, but um, we don't know yet. We don't know if this is bad. So let's uh, let's try it out. All right. Well, here we have it. It smells good. It does smell good. Um, kind of smells identical. The original yeah. spam, I would say. This seriously had this crazy. It was like, it was like frying bacon in the pan. It was popping so much with with just fat. It's, see how it yeah. is, right? It was very very fatty, and there is one difference here, within the ingredients. This says the ingredients is just strictly pork, as 
Spam says pork with ham. Right. I'm know. curious, we can dive into it a bit more later, but I'm curious about the fat content of each of these. Okay. I'm gonna get the uncooked out of the way. <laughs> yeah, this uncooked does look pretty gross. It's a really light pink um, with dark pink spots mixed in, and it's got a layer of fat around it. It's really soft. It does smell like just regular ham, though. There's no, like, cat food essence to it. No, not really. It's not bad. It's okay. It's. I'm going to take a slightly bigger bite. It's really salty. It is very salty. I think it tastes like really salty. Compared to regular uncooked spam, it tastes almost more like ham to me. Yeah, that's weird. I think this actually has, let me finish this bite first, but I think this actually has a better uncooked taste than regular spam. I think it does too. It's a little weird texture-wise and everything, and it's really salty, but I think it actually tastes better. It is, it is like, not, like, too soft either. Like, mm. at first I thought it was going to be really gross, like, hot and spicy Spam or, like, one of the super soft, right. gross ones. But, I mean, for what it is, it's fine, I suppose. Um, the flavor itself is, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's really salty. It is salty. It's really, yeah. really salty. Um... Did you notice any uh, textural inconsistencies in that when you were chewing it? Mm. I feel like I did, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'll try another a little bit too, just to... Yeah, we want to be thorough <laughs> for the people. <laughs> for the people, for you guys keeping us in business. I like, I like that better than uncooked original spam. But do you notice inconsistencies? There's like kind of firmer spots and like really soft. Yeah, but it's, I almost like that better because it is a little firmer. Like, obviously it's still soft, uncooked, but like it's almost more like chewable mm. rather than know. like... I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's parts of it that are just putty-like and then there's other parts that are kind of firm. I don't know. Yeah. Let's try the fried stuff. Let's do it. I'm gonna do this one or this one? I'm going for the darker one. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, very, very greasy. Very greasy, and this appears to be softer than fried spam is. Um, just, I don't know. It's, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it seems to be softer. It's just not cooked as evenly. I think it mm -hmm. has. It, it looks like it has a higher fat content to it. Yeah. I like to say it looks like it's not cooked evenly because some of those spams look at a nice coating on the outside, but the inside is completely pink, and the inside on this is completely pink. So. Yeah, it is soft on the inside still. Ooh. Um, you do get like. I do kind of like that crisp on the outside, though. But again, now that it's even fried up, even it tastes even more salty. It does. It's really salty. Yeah, you're going to be thirsty. You're going to be like a this. gallon of water. <laughs> this is really salty. Mm -hmm. um, I will say I'm like pleasantly surprised, though. Like I thought this was going to be a lot worse, considering how gross it looked when we took it out of the can. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I, I don't think I prefer the fried Spam, or the fried uh, luncheon. I don't think I like that very much. Inside is too soft for me. And it's really salty. It tastes like, like all bacon. I, all I taste is salt. It tastes like bacon. soft bacon, kind of. You think so? Yeah. I, I don't want to give it that much credit. I just think it tastes like salt. Yeah. <laughs> Greasy salt. Because bacon still tastes like bacon, even though bacon's obviously very salty and very fatty, but this just tastes like salt to me. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm kind of thinking of it in the context of, like, if you had some toast and scrambled eggs, threw that on there, made, like, a little breakfast sandwich out of it, I think it would be pretty decent. It could pass as bacon in that case, yeah, yeah. I guess. 
I'm curious though. Hmm. Pretty sure we have a bacon flavored variant to this. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how that's gonna be because something tells me that's gonna hit out of the park, just based on how this tastes. But we'll let's see compare how it goes. nutrition facts. Total fat, twenty one percent of your daily value. Yep. Saturated fat, twenty percent. It says thirty percent. That's six servings per container, right? Yep. Yeah. Just making sure. Okay. So there's less saturated fat in the grade value. Cholesterol, thirteen percent. Yep. Sodium, 34%. Yep. Carbs, zero. Fiber, zero. Total sugars, one gram with one gram added right. sugar. So 2%, right? 2%. Protein, seven grams. Yeah. Vitamin D, zero. Calcium, zero. Iron, 2%. And potassium, 4%. What well, has 2% potassium? With 180 calories per serving. Yes. It is pretty close. It is pretty close. I'm surprised the fat content is not higher than that. Yeah, I mean, apparently this has less saturated fat, which is interesting. Because it, it seems like it has so much more fat, it's, yeah. not, it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's strange because this has less saturated fat, but 2% more potassium. Right. Like, wh where does that come from? You know? <laughs> Good question. Maybe in the unspecified um, spices ingredient or Maybe. something. I don't yeah. know. Um, interesting, though. I think <clears throat> I have a verdict. And I will say, uncooked, great value. I prefer that to uncooked spam, original. Okay. Um, and I think that's primarily a texture thing. Right. Um, it, it, really? Okay. It, it the texture I like better and the flavor I mean like it's just salty it's not too it's not as soft and I don't know it's just fine I mean it's not great but I do prefer it to original uncooked spam and as far as the cooked version of this goes I do not prefer it to regular spam so I would rather have a piece of fried original spam I'm yeah, I'm on board with that uh, with that verdict. My reasoning may be a little different, but I think I'm on board with that. Wait, you said you prefer that. You said you prefer that. I prefer great value uncooked, and I prefer that cooked. spam cooked. Okay, I I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. I do not prefer that uncooked, and I do prefer regular spam cooked. I think okay. that the texture is what throws me off with this. Mm -hmm. uh, it just seems to be inconsistent. I'm not. I'm not a fan of yeah. that uncooked. It's really soft. It's really salty. I think. I don't know. I think the appearance alone, taking it out of the can, could uh, deter some people. <laughs> Definitely could. You know. So if if like uh, appearance and presentation is a big thing for you, it's probably going to be mm -hmm. kind of hard to get past that if you're trying this out. Because I yeah. think once you take. Original spam out of the can, it's not as uh, slimy, you know? Original spam is not as slimy? I wouldn't say it is. No. Yeah, well, I don't know. I think original spam kind of has this sheen to it when you take it out of the can that this doesn't have. Yeah. But that might just be because this has like a quarter inch of fat all yeah, the way around. Yeah, that was it. like a straight up gel. Yeah, that was a little gross. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's rate this. All right. Um... Spam classic, not fried, you gave a 6.8. Okay. Well, I think they're very similar, and I already did say I like not fried. Great value brand, better, but not by much. Like, it's a very small margin, and with that, I'm going 6.9. That's sex. Um... <laughs> For the fried score, it looks like I gave Spam Classic a 7.6. Um, this, I would say I like it um, significantly less. Yeah. Um, and for that reason, I'm going all the way down to a 6.8. That's still higher than I would have expected, but all yeah. right. Okay, I guess, yeah. Um, my not fried score, I, did I give a 
uh, uh, fractional rating in that first video? I guess I must I guess have. you did. My not fried score for original spam was 7.5. Um, if we just pretend that's an 8. Or even a 7. I think this would still rate... Um, about a 6. I was thinking maybe 5. But I'm, I'm going to put this at 6. Because I think 5 is maybe a little too low. Mm -hmm. Um... I think five would be like, this is gross. Yeah. Okay. Six is like, yeah. this is edible. Yeah, okay, that's <laughs> that's a good, very good rationale, yeah. Um, my fried score for original spam was an eight out of ten. This is significantly worse. I think, I think I'll give that a five. That's pretty low. I would have expected at least a six out of that. I, I don't, I think I prefer it, well, I don't know. I can understand it though, because this the inside is quite soft. Yeah, I'm torn. And it's cooked unevenly. And it's all you can taste is salt. Yeah. So yeah, I think a five is better because it's yeah. That's fair. Yep. I think I I, I stand can. by that. I, I had to think about it, but I stand by that number. <laughs> That's a justified <laughs> score, I right. think. Um Yeah. So there you guys have it. This is our review of great value luncheon meat. Yeah. Um <laughs> could be worse but it definitely could be better as well correct um i would like to point out though that this is a dollar cheaper than regular spam so if you're uh up to you if you want to spend that extra dollar or not yeah i think personally it would be worth it to spend I th that extra yeah, dollar I think I would but, too. <laughs> but hey if you're out there grinding you're trying to save every penny you can maybe yeah. this will work for you sure um you guys let us know in the comments uh what you think Make sure to share this. Uh, um, let us know if you've ever had this. Yeah, let us know if you've had it. If you prefer maybe a, another flavor of it. Because there's, mm, there's a few more, there's a few more, more options. options. Um, so there you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Remember, show your mom. Show your grandma. Show your cat. Well, show your father-in-law. <laughs> Show your father in law. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>